Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. I'm here tonight to talk about Leon. If you're not sure who Leon is, Leon's dead name is Mariah. On the Sister Wives show, Leon appeared as Mariah, Mary's only daughter. But since then, Leon has come out as transgender and identifies with the pronoun they. Many people have written to me and said, I'm no longer allowed to use Leon's old name, Mariah, because it is a dead name and it's considered inappropriate to talk about that name once some, <laughs> once a transgender person has established a new identity. But many people also comment asking who the hell Leon is. <laughs> So I am letting you know right here and right now, Leon appeared on the show as Mariah. Okay, but the really interesting thing that's going on is when I heard all of the other kids speaking out about Sister Wives, Isabel, Peyton, McKelty, I really wanted to hear from Leon. And just last night, some information came out identifying Leon on TikTok as having created a TikTok account called Leo in the Mountains. And on this TikTok account, uh, Leon or Leo started posting new videos of themselves exposing their top half surgery. So just letting everyone know that they had surgery done in order to look and feel more like themselves. But sometimes for me, having a good morning is truly just about deciding to have a good morning. Leon Brown is on TikTok. I just went through their videos and oh my God, on top of touching, they are a really talented, I, I think, writer. I think that's where they were going last I heard. But um, I'm going to tag them so you can follow them. But And shut up, I'm a big, I'm a big baby with certain things. Leave me alone. Now this next clip is the one that got me. I got I got a little of a clip and I'm not even, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it is really hard when you come from a certain type of background to really accept and truly grow in your most authentic self. And we love to see it. These little tasks like blooming the coffee in my French press and putting some butter on a yummy sourdough slice become rituals, little pockets of my day where I see how much beauty, how much divinity is in the mundane, is in these little pockets of time that we so easily pass over. That's not the whole video, so if you want to see the whole thing, you got to go over to their TikTok and you got to watch it. But of course, it does look like Leon ended up privating their TikTok account um, just a little while ago, so I'm not sure if it will be there when you go, but you should definitely check it out. In the video, Leon basically to me is saying like I know there's all this crazy chaos going on with sister wives but I'm just home being myself living my life enjoying the small things being grateful for what I have and living life the way that I want to live it the videos are basically of Leon completing like Monday mundane tasks around the apartment with their partner walking around making coffee starting um, breakfast and kind of doing a voiceover where Leon will say like I find joy in the small things okay but additionally something kind of funny is that people have started questioning whether or not the anonymous source on TikTok, the Toxity TikTok account, could possibly be Leon. And I'm going to include a clip of that here. Sister Wives fans, more talk about the Toxicity account. In my last video, someone speculated whether Leon was behind the account. I don't know if Leon is behind it, but the Toxicity account did like one of my comments about Leon. I said that I felt bad for them that they walked in on their mom having relations over the phone with the catfish, and that account liked it. So I don't know if it's them, but they are sympathetic towards them. Personally, I stand behind my original assessment that I do think it's real. They are saying a lot of new information, even if they're deleting the videos after. I don't believe that it's Jackie the catfish because they're saying the opposite of what she said. These are not the same stories. Yeah, it would shock me if it was Leon. I don't think that Leon is enough like the type of person who would really care about sister wives at this point. They've moved on with their lives. It is true that a lot of people now are claiming that the Toxity TikTok account could possibly be the catfish. I know without a crystal ball is like set on that theory. Um, it's hard for me to really like see that, but I guess really anything is possible. Let's be honest. Okay, I'm going to leave you last with this little clip from TikTok. It just reminded me about how a long time ago in the beginning of Sister Wives, Leon used to sit on the couch 
where they would do all the interviews with the other kids. And Leon was the one who was the most vocal about how they were going to live polygamy. And they believed with all of their heart that it was the way they were going to go in their life. They were so young back then, but it's just interesting to think about it. Do you remember all the OG Sister Wives watchers? Do you remember when the kids would sit down on the couch together and they would talk about polygamy? They even used to speak at the tell-alls. And back then it seemed like the kids were afraid to fully say, absolutely not, I don't want to be a polygamist. They would beat around the bush and be like, mm, maybe. Like I remember Logan saying that. I remember Aspen saying, maybe I would be open to it, right? And then they grow up and then reality hits them that absolutely not, this is not the life for me. Well, I'm glad we're at a time in life where the children can speak up. Isabel said that she would never be a polygamist. She says she doesn't want her husband looking elsewhere, right, to find qualities in someone else that she doesn't have. And I hope Cody is listening. Look at what you've done. Your kids know better. Making your wives feel bad for being who they are doesn't work. And your kids know it. That's Pop Therapist on TikTok. Check her out. She's the best. I hope you guys have a great night. Leave any comments below. What do you think about what's been going on with Leon? To me... I don't know. I think it's kind of like their way. I feel like it's speaking to me that this is their way to be like, I'm moving on. I'm doing my own thing. I don't need a Patreon. I don't need whatever. Like, I don't need to talk about what went on privately with my family in public right now. Um, I'm just going to do my own thing. I have my own issues with Leon in general. I always thought that Leon mirrored a lot of their mother's issues, meaning Mary. So it's not like I look at Leon and think that they are so great or wonderful or anything like that. But I do sort of feel like so far Leon's the only one who hasn't come out with a Patreon. <laughs> Except actually Peyton hasn't either. So, but you know, let me know below your thoughts and feelings about all of this. I hope you guys have a great night. Hope to see you here again.